I want to do a quick little comparison between these two back rack leak detectors. On the left I have the latest and greatest PAGM with the 10 inch infrared sensor and on the right I have more of the standard H10 uh, variant. This is the H10 Pro which is the newest and greatest uh, one they've come up with. This one has a brand new heated diode sensor. It has an active pump and it's uh, set to low. So let's do a little you can see my calibration is set right. So it's definitely working. And I'm going to have them both in a similar spot. And I'm just going to waft a little tiny bit of this duster to see what happens. I'm going to move it a little bit further away so I get a little bit more of a dissipated charge or dissipation in the air so it's not like right on the leak. So let me get a little shot. My pagan is going off. H10 is not. Now that is a pretty tiny leak. It's uh, three parts per million with the top, which, you know, that could be a big leak way back, uh, far away from the unit, but you know, as it, when it gets to it, it's, it's very small. But it is finding something in the air. See, it's wafting around a little bit more. It's back up to two. And the H10 hasn't gone off. Now let me, uh, you know, another hit of uh, this to shoot another little shot of that. You can see that the H10 is sensitive. It's really not reading that. Um, four, peak of four. And again, let me just, now I'm just going to set it, set somewhere on top of it so it'll go off. Uh, it's up to five. Remember, I squirted that. I'm just going to shoot a little bit right on top. That will get them both going, or it should. Yep, there you go. They're both reading. See, now that by the time that reached the pag, I'm, you know, they're both going off, but you can see that that's a pretty large leak. I'm still reading it. 